All right, what is it? Okay, awesome, nice. Dude, can I just position this camera well? Is it gonna stay? Dude, why is it so zoomed in like this thing? All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another car talk. Now these are only solely gonna be uploaded to YouTube because I feel like it's just lazy for me to upload this to TikTok, for me to upload this to Instagram, and for YouTube to have like no specialness to it at all. It's just all like replicated, copied and pasted junk. Uh, I need to switch it up 100%. But anyways, yeah, today I wanna talk about, let me take off my sweater because I'm overheating like crazy. But uh, yeah, yesterday I had the flu. I don't know if I had the flu. Like it's pretty much gone now. I feel like sickness is just a mindset. Now a lot of pussies could debate this with me, but personally, this is what I'm saying for myself. Like every time I'm sick, I feel like the more I focus on the fact that I'm sick and I like victimize it and I'm like, oh my God, I got the sniffles. Oh my God, I'm overheating. Oh my God, I'm this, that, and the third. Like the more the symptoms just skyrocket and I feel it that much more. But yesterday for some odd reason, like I was just completely run down. Like I felt like I had the flu. I was overheating and I went to go edit some video and I was just like not possible. I couldn't focus. I just like, it was was just damn near impossible I was like I cannot do this right now and I was like forcing it and I was like oh my god I can't and that was like one of the first times that that has happened in a while now I probably could have just pushed through that you know if I'm in motion and I'm grinding and I'm doing what I got to do 24 7 like I'll get sick for like I'll get sick like once a week just because like the my routine is just ridiculous or it can be ridiculous like working 12 hours a day and then going to the gym and then after that filming content and sometimes going to bed at one two or three like obviously that's not what an average human being should be doing so it makes sense that i'd be run down but now it's a day later and i feel like fine i feel good i went to the gym like i felt you know it's kind of like shit i'm not gonna lie it was one of the worst workouts i've ever had in my life just because yesterday i was lazy and it killed my momentum and it killed my discipline and then i went to the gym trying to do something insanely difficult and like you know break my limits and it just it wasn't you know because I took that fucking break and I slacked off and then it translated and it flipped over into the next day and it made it extremely difficult which I shouldn't have done but yeah I just feel like when I focus on the symptoms it skyrockets and when I say I'm fine when I say I'm good and I kind of just have a positive mindset about it it goes away super fast so I think you know sickness is just a mindset it's like yeah we're just temporarily not feeling that great at the moment and a lot of pussies are like oh I got COVID gotta wear a mask like get the fuck out of here oh but yeah yesterday I made a video saying learn how to rest and not give up reset recharge re-energize whatever and that was one of the biggest mistakes i've ever made in my entire life just taking a break because you know it was getting overwhelming like i don't know yesterday was a different day like everything was extremely difficult to like the maximum but I feel like when it gets to that moment and I break through, like I level up and I gain so much more, which I should have just pushed through yesterday and grinded it out and did what I was supposed to do. Because now today, like I'm kind of carrying over those same bad habits that I was doing yesterday. I don't agree with taking a fucking break or taking a day off. Like personally, not for me, like momentum is built upon every single day and discipline can be broken with one day off. Like it is extremely difficult when you're actually like deep inside of the grind and you're fucking working your ass off. Like a lot of people, they don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. They go to work, they come home and they watch fucking TV. They're not doing what I'm doing or they're doing more than I'm doing and they know what I mean. But like if you take a day off when you're seriously in the grind and you're doing a lot and you try to like re-enter that the next day, there's gonna be so much resistance because it's so difficult. And it's a day-to-day -day habit that you have to build in your mind to be like, yeah, this is what we're doing. It's it's difficult it sucks but you know it gets easier once you do it each and every single day and you just build momentum and you go in that direction and it makes it a little bit easier but if you take a day off then it's like holy fuck this is what we do okay and you gotta like jump back into it and it makes it that much harder to pick it back up and go to that place that you were so i don't even recommend taking a fucking day off unless like you physically just can't do it then, you know, like still try to push and still try to go because that storm and that day will pass and on the other side, on the next day, you'll be re-energized and you'll be ready to go. Yeah, man, honestly, I just feel like those weak thoughts are a temptation of the devil. Like all that bullshit you hear in your mind of like, oh, take a break, oh, just relax, oh, just have a donut, oh, just don't go to the gym, oh, just take it easy, oh, just, you know, don't do that, it's cold though, don't go on a jog, it's cold, it's raining, it's wet, it's uh gonna be slippery, it's gonna be this, you're gonna get your shoes wet, oh, it's snowing, like don't go outside it's not gonna be comfortable like oh take the most comfortable route like I feel like that's just the devil and we have two voices and two paths inside of our heads that we could follow we have the path that we should be going which is upstream and it's extremely difficult and it takes you know a lot of heart and it takes 
you know, you overcoming a lot of adversity and becoming the best version of yourself, which is not easy. Or you could take the wrong path, which is also not fucking easy. And they both, you know, require you to go through pain, but a different kind of pain. Like this one's satisfying. And to get the success, you got to go through the pain. You got to go through the trials and tribulations. You got to grow. You got to go through the adversity. And this one is just like, oh, I regret what the fuck I did with my life. Like I'm a loser. And you know, there's two types of pain. You can just choose which way you want to go. And I feel like the more you lean into the right direction, the more like the devil will try to attack you. Um, and I feel like that's what happened yesterday personally with me. Like I just gave into a fucking weak thought that I had. Um, and a lot of people don't think like this and I don't give a fuck. Don't watch this video because this is not for normal people who just want to do mediocre things. Like I'm completely separating myself from everybody um, because nobody wants to do shit. And I started to realize that, you know, for a while now, like nobody wants to do shit. They've all settled. Um, I'm not condemning them. I don't have anything against them. But like, do I want to do that? Do I want to be influenced by those people? No, I don't. Because that's what happens when you hang around people. You become who you hang around with. So I want to become extraordinary. So I got to stay by myself because I have extraordinary beliefs that people don't have. And if you have that, if you have a vision, if you have a big dream, if you have an internal flame, you got to protect that. You got to walk alone because, you know, look around. These people are down and out. Not everybody, a majority of them are. And they'll try to dwindle that flame inside of you. And why the fuck would you want to be around that? Like chasing what I was chasing, that's all I've ever experienced is people trying to dwindle that, telling me it's not possible or telling me some bullshit. And there's only been like a handful of people that are like clear inside of my mind that told me, no, do what you got to do. Like do what you feel you should be doing, do what's in your heart. And like those are the people I will remember for the rest of my life. And the people that ever said anything that wasn't aligned with what I believe like I'm gonna remember that as well and I'm not gonna you know hold that as a grudge but it's like but you know it's just something to remember but at the end of the day what's on your mind is on your mind what's planted inside of your soul whatever belief you have that is yours nobody can relate to that and a lot of people can just interject and they can fuck that up that's why in this next phase of my life like I'm truly doubling down on the people who add value to my life and if they don't like there's no point if you drain my mind if you take away from my mind take away from my belief, you take away from my momentum, take away from my progression, and you gotta get cut loose because what are you doing for my life besides stripping me away from my destiny or planting seeds of doubt in my life because I feel like you can speak life into people. You know, the words you say to people are powerful and people remember that shit. You know, I have like things that I remember since I was like fucking, I don't know, like 10 or 9 or like 11 and 13. Like there's certain things that you remember and like those things you could feed off of. So if they're positive or they're negative, like you'd be using those up to this date or like those are, you know, things that you carry with you into your adulthood and that's what you believe. Um, and if it's not positive, then you gotta work on yourself. You gotta rebuild your mind, um, rebuild your belief, you know? Take out the shit that doesn't work, cut out all the weeds, replant some flowers in that bitch, you know? Get some new dirt in there, get some new soil, fertilize it, fix your fucking mind, grind, become disciplined. And the people who never add value to your life, well, it's the last time they'll come in contact with you because we're here for growth. We're here to tap into our highest potential. And if you're about bullshit and you got that down and out mentality, then, you know, go flock with another group. Go flock with the same individuals that you are. And you guys can just amount to nothing. Because that's what's going to happen. You know, you are what you believe. You become what you think. You believe you're a loser, you're going to be a loser. If you believe you ain't going to be shit, you ain't going to be shit. Because if you're saying, I'm a loser, well, are you going to go to the gym if you feel like, no. Are you going to get up early in the morning if you, no. Are you going to work on yourself if you, no. Mind is very powerful and that's why you got to protect it. You know, when it comes to cutting off people, you can be like, oh, well, what if I hurt their feelings? Oh, well, what if you don't make it to your destiny because you fucked around and you let this person drain your energy? But yeah, anyways, after that little micro break yesterday, I have learned so many lessons that I'm going to apply moving forward. First of all, I'm never going to take a fucking break in my entire existence because that just killed all momentum and like it just ruined absolutely everything to a certain extent. I don't want to go that far or be that dramatic, but I kind of felt it, but it was kind of beneficial because a lot of the times when you're just grinding, 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 you're not really thinking, you're just doing, and you can't pivot, you can't move, you can't like, you know, change things up, you can't see it from a different lens because you're always in the thick of things, you're always just having your head down and you're grinding and you're trying to be consistent and you're doing what you got to do. But in that regard, like the break was beneficial because I actually took a step back and I could see everything from like a third person view and I'm like, oh, yeah. 
Like, I should fix this. I should do this and moving forward. Like, this was a weakness. Like, everything was just popping up. And that was actually a gem that I picked out of that because the whole entirety of that grind, I just had my head down and I was focused and I wasn't changing nothing. I was just, you know, stale and I was just, you know, stuck in my ways and I was stuck. Like, this is what we're doing. I was rigid. I wasn't flexible. And, you know, taking a step back allowed me to be a little more flexible and a little more like, oh, well, I should do this. I should do that. I shouldn't do that. I should change this. I should fix that. That's lazy. That's not good. And also, like, all of my weaknesses kind of like rose to the surface like everything that wasn't serving me I could see that from like a third person point of view and I'm like oh I gotta fix that I gotta fix that I gotta fix that and that was the first time in a while that that has popped up because you know when you're just grinding and you have your head down you can't you don't have time to think you don't have time to like you know really analyze what you're doing or like analyze your emotions or like analyze your weaknesses or really anything at all you're just like consumed and stuck in the grind so like taking a step back and seeing it for what it was for even that split second for like I don't know like a couple hours um, changed everything I, I would say but yeah now we move forward with that newfound knowledge and we fix all the kinks inside of the system and we double down on the grind and we continue to move forward with the newfound knowledge but yeah I love you guys these car talks are only gonna be on YouTube it's gonna be some YouTube dedicated content but yeah like this should be a YouTube video in itself like this should not be on TikTok it's way too long it shouldn't be on Instagram because who cares like this is a YouTube style video and in the future I'm gonna be doing more for YouTube like I'm gonna get a big break soon I'm um, on the 13th of December and I'm gonna do some crazy videos probably go to the city and I'm gonna go to the gym and like start interviewing girls or just you know making shit that's actually entertaining and watchable but yeah I want to get to a point in my life where I'm dedicating my whole existence to making content and making the best videos I possibly can that is my goal that is what I want to you know bring into this world but yeah I'm tired and I got some more things to do so I will see you guys in the next one peace out